Okay, so I have been using VS Code for some time now, and I've sort of been exploring different ways in which I can organize my folders. And I think I've found a way that I, I guess I could call it my favorite way of doing it, or a way that I have actually found to be very good. So I'm just going to share that information with you. So right here, I have this folder called VS Code YouTube. So basically, all the videos that I am going to be creating or putting in YouTube that involves VS Code, I just basically put all the code in this folder. But I'm just going to show you exactly what's happening um, basically outside of this folder. So I'm going to go to Documents. So here's what I did. I actually created a folder that says All VS Code Projects. Double click here and here we go. Now each of these folders basically represents a project and well to go further when I open each folder there is a dot VS code folder which is basically holding the configuration or the task configuration for each project. So for example this one is called experiments and this dot vs code is going to have the properties launch and tasks so this is the configuration for this project and basically what happens is when for example i go here so let's say i am i what i want is not in this location i just simply go to file and i'm going to say open folder and i'm going to say experiments and i say select folder so right away it's going to just change so i'm going to wait a bit bam and then here we go. I am now in a different project and it's called experiments and here is the configuration. So whenever I press control R to run a task, this is the dot VS, this is the folder it's going to go into now to run that task. So here we go. This project has its own configuration for how the CPP files are run. And I can also go again, open folder. And I can go back here, let's say, say Visual Studio Code. I want to open this folder and just loads up. And then there you go. I have all these files. So, yeah, I think this is a very good way to organize it. Now, I, I know that you can actually create a workspace. I haven't really explored this, but for now, I just find working with folders to be the best. So, yeah, you can just simply copy what I do here. So, have a single folder in your documents directory called all your projects, name it whatever you want. And then inside that now you have your actual project folders. And then in those folders now you have a, a configuration for basically any file that is within those folders. So each of these folders has their own configuration. And yeah, I think that's just a very good way of doing it. So yeah, if this was helpful. You can like and subscribe. And I will also see you again in the next video. So all right, peace.